going on guys? Team Tarek 6 here, back for another third party review, and today we're taking a look at the Make Toys. Uh, I don't remember what number, remaster series, I don't know, it'll be in the description. Uh, Hellfire, which obviously is Inferno. And uh, yeah, he is a nice fire truck. Now one thing I want to point out right away, right off the bat, this is normally clear. I've actually gone ahead and taken mine and painted it from the inside. Uh, just because I really didn't like seeing the seats behind here. Um, and the silver was more cartoon accurate. So normally uh, you'll see right through and you'll see the seats and everything here. And I just don't think it looks very nice. Uh, unfortunately I found no way to take the side windows off to also give them the silver paint job. Uh, because most of them are like plastic welded in. But for the most part I think it looks pretty okay like that. Um, yeah. You know, I mean from the side you can't tell that the front is silver. And from this angle it still looks pretty okay. Now before we go on and look at this anymore, I do want to point out some of the accessories that they gave. Um, they gave a, a little variety of faces here, like they have like the grimacing face, like I don't know if this is smiling or angry. We have like a little smirk, we have uh, I don't know, just like a whatever face, and then this one looks like he's in pain or trying to use the bathroom, I'm not sure. And then we've got eyes here. The thing I don't understand, and granted I've never taken these off because I don't think they're all that much of an improvement. Um, so obviously the eyes come off this sprue and you pop them in here, but it's not immediately clear to me how the head is held into uh, the assembly that you can actually use these without gluing them in place. Uh, it's possible, like I said, that you know, they do fit in just fine, but I don't think any of these are really an upgrade over what you get, so I'm really hesitant to, to mess with them. You also get uh, a gun here, and you do get the pieces of his arm cannon all neatly stored in the uh, vehicle mode. Uh, notably, you do have to bend the ladder right here if you want to store the gun. Uh, it just pegs right in using this little T-joint right in here, so... Uh, if you don't have that, you can actually flatten this out completely uh, and it'll sit right against the roof like that. But if you do plug it back in, like I said, plug it in, just adjust this right here. Uh, so it's not going to sit on the top of the cab, but it still at least looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and take this out of here and uh, let's look at the truck. I mean, it's solid. It looks real nice. Uh, it rolls like a champ with these uh, rubber wheels here. I don't know if they'll stand the test of time. I do have to admit that that worries me a little, uh, but I guess we'll see. From the bottom, it's pretty clean. Doesn't look terribly like a robot, uh, if that's important to you. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. My understanding is the hoses aren't supposed to be on this truck, whatever. I don't know. I don't care. Um, it looks like a fire truck to me. It does have the ladder here. The ladder does articulate all the way back like this and of course at this piece here that you saw. Um, but there is no swivel on this at all. Uh, again, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but a lot of trucks that, you know, toys that are made like this always seem to have a swivel uh, like the TFC uh, hotspot. Um, but it does extend out and you extend it from here and then extend it here. So it does have an overall, uh, I don't know how the best way I'm going to show this, but it does have a pretty good range. But again, it's only an up and down motion here for that. But, you know, whatever. I'm not really playing with this with uh, little firemen or anything like that. So that's not a big deal. When it came down to this, there was one size comparison I cared about. And that's Red Alert. And I gotta say, the scaling doesn't feel right. Like, this is <laughs> a really tiny fire engine compared to uh, a Lamborghini. But, you know, you kind of have to accept that with Transformers that um, if they want to make it look good in its robot mode, chances are that, you you know, something's going to be off vehicle mode or something. It's either going to be too big in robot mode for an accurately scaled vehicle uh, or too small in vehicle mode for accurately scaled bot. Um, so let's take this here and we'll do one more size comparison. Let me pull them off the shelf right here. Here is... Your MP, uh, fire, yeah, fire truck. Your MP, uh, can't think of it, semi-mold right now. And you can see, like, you really should be, the cab of the, the fire truck should be about the same as the semi. So it is a bit small, but whatever, what can you do? It's Transformers, right? So getting this guy transformed is relatively easy and painless. Uh, he's one of the more fun Transformers that I've picked up as of late. 
Uh, these things are a big pain in the butt, and I've actually uh, tightened up the, the joints on this uh, with some clear nail polish, but these do pop off really, really easily. Anyway, start by unplugging those, and then take this back piece here and kind of unplug it from the uh, ladder assembly piece, which can be a little bit difficult, I'm not going to lie. There we go. And they just, they do slide straight out like this, if that wasn't really clear about what I was doing there. Uh, from there, unplug the arms like this. I find that to be easiest. And take this piece here, lift the wheels, and bring this down. You can see I lost one of these guys again, this one. Uh, it really does not stay on mine too well. From here, come down to this piece and ratchet that inner ratchet down like this uh, to bring the pelvis piece forward. And we'll talk about this a little bit of business later on. We can go ahead and split the legs and rotate each leg downwards just like this. And, uh, you know, hopefully you're not dragging the uh, back too much. We'll go ahead and we'll pull these off right now and just set them aside. Come down to the uh, feet here. Take this piece and kind of rotate it like that just to get it out of the way. And uh, fold this down just like so. And this little piece was like this. I folded it in the process. And it's going to plug in here and into the, like, the little gray ankle piece just like so. Now one thing that is not clear all the time, this little middle panel here moves and you want to have it all the way forward when you put it in because it helps lock this side piece in just a little bit better. For some reason we're really close feeling today with the camera. Maybe it's just the way uh, I'm sitting. But anyway, we'll go ahead and do that to the other side. Bring this on around. Bring this down all the way up. Close this a little foot piece if we can I don't know why this one's fighting me it's not really all that hard but for some reason this one there we go just something wasn't right uh, make sure our little middle leg assembly is all the way out and I don't know why this moves it doesn't seem to do anything in either mode except just get in the way and one easy little piece to forget is right on the thigh here, this little panel swivels up and out of the way on uh, both sides here. So it can be very easy to forget this little piece. Um, it just kind of fills in a little bit of the truck mode. So from here, let's bring the camera up so we can see everything better. From here we have the legs done, so you're going to take this little piece and kind of fold it down and out of the way and you have to kind of pop the arm up a little and rotate it out. You can see how this piece here wants to bump into it but once you get it up and out of the way it should freely go across like that. From here we can take this piece and fold, well before we do that now that we have those in position we'll take these things and fold them back in place and they do a nice job hiding the little gaps here on the back. And now we can take this, fold that all up, and these two little tabs on the roof are gonna tab in on both sides here, just like so. And we'll bring these little wings up, and they don't go 90 degrees out, they just kinda sit at a slight angle, and I think we need to adjust a little more. So we'll take this, and we'll fold it on down just like so. So now we got most of that done, uh, we're only going to do one hand transformation, you can do both, uh, but what's the point? And I just flipped the wheels down if you didn't notice. So now we're going to take the arm and bend it here on this really strong ratchet and like that, and then take this little white piece and flip it up. We'll open up the little hand hole here and we'll flip it out and that can be repeated for the other side. But we know Inferno has his little uh, extinguisher arm, so we're not going to bother doing that. I just want that like that. So we'll go ahead and transform the other arm. And they do, these ratchets are so tight that it does 
honestly worry me a tiny bit uh, that something good is or something bad's gonna happen in the future. Uh, but so far, it seems okay. And uh, this little thing I forgot to show you in fire truck mode articulates and it was on the side of his head. So now he's pretty much done. All you do, like you saw earlier, is you open the chest, you swivel this out, and you close it back up. And you can see, I, I, I'm really not sure how those other heads are intended to be held in here. I think I got a, a piece of somebody's hair stuck in uh, between the head ball joint here from the factory. But you can see, I can't really see how that, those other faces really hold in. Um, maybe sometime I'll take it apart and take a look, but I really don't think there's any better face. But anyway, that was it. I mean, he's transformed here. You know, he looks good. We just take his little uh, accessory here, plug it in, and plug it on into his hand. And I mean, that's Inferno. That looks good. And uh, I wasn't really sure because there's three different Inferno options coming out, if I recall correctly. And I didn't know which one I really wanted to go with until I saw the picture of him next to Red Alert. And I was like, that's the perfect size to me. I think that looks just absolutely fantastic together. Uh, and that was the one I picked up. If you're looking for a couple more size comparisons before we move on, uh, here's the MP Ironhide next to him. Uh, and those characters should be roughly the same size. Uh, Ironhide may be a little bit tall comparatively, but uh, I don't think it looks bad. In fact, if you want, and you're not going to pose him at the knees really, you can go ahead and sink Ironhide down in his little knee sockets a little. And that looks just about perfect if you ask me. You actually still can use the knees when they're not all the way extended out. So yeah, I don't think that looks terrible at all. Uh, but this is definitely the, the two I care most about. So we'll go ahead and he comes with his gun here and all you have to do for that is uh, flip out the handle here and there's no special tabbing or anything in here it's just pretty much put it in his hand and close it uh, but he does end up holding it like a champion. I thought that he had a thing that plugged into his his forearm there uh, but that was just the uh, spur mark or sprue mark I should say from where it came the plastic it came off of. But yeah, I mean, he does a pretty good job holding it. It's not as secure as, uh, you know, the ones where you plug it into their palm, but it works. It's fine. Um, he's not going to be dropping it if he's standing on a shelf. So let's talk articulation with this guy. I believe his head is on a ball joint. It feels a lot like a ball joint. I haven't taken it apart, but I don't really know any other thing to move like this. Um, you get very little up and down, but you can do a full 360. So that's nice. Um, important, I guess, when you tuck his head away that you have it the right way. But yeah, it, it works. It does what it needs to. The arm joints here, um, you have a, a fair amount of motion out of it. Uh, you have the sideways, so he's not going to be doing any real tease or anything. I suppose if you really want, you can move this little white piece out of the way. And then you can, but... I mean, you do lose the, the aesthetic of the white piece there. Um, I don't like kind of putting too much pressure on here, but it's hard to tell if that's like a clear joint that it's on or if that's just how this piece plugs into like the shoulder piece. I'm not really sure, but that does give you the extra articulation for sideways um, if you want. You get quite a bit of motion out of there that way. Um, you do have one of these, the same type of joint that was on MP Ironhide that you can kind of pull that ratchet out, the uh, spring ratchet there, and uh, it does a great job with holding whatever position you want. Uh, it does seem like he can't go 360 at the arms though because the way they sit there you get to a point where it just starts getting in the way of everything. Um, I'm not entirely sure why that is, but Whatever, I don't need him to do 360s with his arm. You have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, a wrist articulation. All that is fine. Coming down to the waist, you do get waist rotation. Uh, it is a little bit awkward looking and the uh, back like spine piece kind of gets in the way when you go too far. Uh, but that's just abnormal ranges of motion anyway. So I don't really see why you really need to go much more. Uh, and then something like that personally. So uh, coming down to this, make sure, make sure, make sure if you are messing with the legs, you realize that this is on a single 
swivel piece. Um, I have found no way to take this piece off. Uh, I took the whole thing apart and I couldn't figure out how to access uh, this hip skirt here. Um, I've heard of a couple people breaking theirs because they held one end and tried to flex the other and snapped it. I do wish that they were just on two like mushroom pegs in there, but they're not, so you know, just be aware of it. Uh, coming down to legs here, you get plenty of side to side out of it. You can do an old preceptor kick. Uh, you do get the great, great ratchets for uh, 90 degrees in each direction here. No complaints there. These panels down here are definitely a complaint because they don't peg in super securely, but not that big of a problem. You do have a thigh swivel, uh, but it is a little bit limited. Coming down to the knee here, I think this may be the first time I've ever actually tried to move his knee. Uh, great uh, knee here. It's double jointed. It's not going to get you a full range of motion, but it's definitely good enough for what it does. And we'll put that back in position. And then you do have this joint in here for a side to side movement on the ankle as well as a ball joint here. So it's a pretty large range of motion you're going to get out of the, the, ball, the uh, ankle articulation. So overall, I really love this guy. He's such a fun figure to mess with. You can change him back and forth real quick. He looks great with the characters he's supposed to. You know what, let's do one more size comparison here. Uh, there's Optimus Prime. And I still think that that looks real good because he's not quite prime size in the cartoon. Uh, so I, th I think that's okay. I mean, I don't have any real complaints there. I think that's perfect. So let's get him transformed back to his fire truck mode and let's get out of here. We'll start by taking all his little accessories off. Snap that into two pieces there. Uh, open this up, flip it around, close it, just like so. Uh, we'll open his head compartment, flip his head around, close it right back up. Uh, and also, when it is like this, you do see the back of his head if this is not silver, so it was another reason I really wasn't a fan. In fact, let me see. Um, I mean, the box, they do a really good job hiding it, but you can see his head there. Like, even if these windows were, like, a little bit smoked or something, so you couldn't see it quite so much, I think would have made a bit of a difference. Uh, but, yeah, I just think, if you look at him on the cartoon, it's always a silver color, so that's why I went with silver. Anyway, we'll take this, we'll fold this whole piece out just like so. Uh, get Make sure you don't lose these little white wings. And we'll work on the arms. Always remember, bring these little pieces down first. Bring the white piece down. Bring this thing up like so. And there we go. Get that around just like that like that and what's gonna happen here these ha arms have little tabs on them here and they're gonna plug in here I don't find it useful to do that right now um, the instructions tell you to do it right now but uh, we'll wait for that so anyway we'll do the other side here rotate that rotate this like that and this like that and just kinda get it on around just like so and it's good to know that they plug in, just so we make sure that we have them uh, in the right position as soon as we're done. And one thing, if you're not seeing it straight, it's because you don't have this, this uh, joint in the shoulder straight. So you should be able to do that. And we'll take this and fold these up. And now we want to take these out of the way here. Um, it's a little hard to do when you have limited space. So we'll unplug these panels. We're going to rotate these little thigh pieces on down on both sides here like that. Uh, you can compress these little center pieces to kind of do it on their own. And now you want to unplug the toe piece here, or I don't know what you call it, the inner part of the foot here, and rotate it around. And then try to bring these wheels flat like this. Now. You'll see on the back here, you do have this molding. 
you do want this to fit inside here so it takes a little bit of work to get it positioned right but you should have that silver piece lined up just in there uh, and that's how you know it's correct so we'll keep this just kind of like that for now straighten out this little panel just so it looks nice and let's go back to the other side here take this bring it down so it's fitting there nice just like that that looks great and we'll take this and we'll put this together just like this making pretty much the whole back of the fire truck and make sure that this all is straight still and fix this little panel so it looks nice so we got that the next thing to do is take these little pieces here and plug well we'll start with the bottom one plug it into the hole here and plug it into the peg here just like this and now you want to take they tell you in the instructions you want to move the legs back. I find it not easy to do that. I instead take this little piece here and collapse it just like so. And then once that's in place, that's when I actually work on rotating the legs, which can be, I guess, a little bit more difficult to do. Uh, but I find that getting this in position uh, first just tends to be easier and then everything on the truck pretty well lines up. Uh, with this panel out of the way, you can see that we have this little tab here. That's where this little black piece is going to end up tabbing into. So I usually take all this stuff, I make sure that we're folded in nicely just like that and then I tab that in and now we've got the truck pretty well together we can close these wheels down here uh, which do end up pegging into these tabs on the leg here to hold them secure uh, if you didn't see that just like that I let you know you have it in the right place now is the point where I, I get these out of the way and I take them and I make sure that they're tabbed into this black piece which just usually takes a little bit of a twist and then from here I push down so it tabs in on each of the sides here uh, and that's just the easiest way I found to get everything completely lined up here uh, you may have to give a little extra push on this back piece if things kind of popped out of the way so with this you then take the front or the head part of the of, of his body there and you kind of fold these panels in and from each side peg them right on in at the top here on each side just like so and that lets you push it all in make sure that looks nice fold your ladder all the way around if you wanted to hide your gun in there that was your chance and then take these fold them down and clip them in so all in all I gotta say that of the things I got in my most recent pile of loot, uh, Navy, Spotter, uh, Mercenary, and this were like the, the most recent things I got. And this guy has been by far the most fun to mess with uh, from that pile uh, of loot. Uh, I've just transformed him back and forth so many times and had such a good time with him. And I just think that he looks awesome. He definitely looks like Inferno. So job well done, make toys. I can't wait to get Wrestle here, um, their grapple, and uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited. I really like how these guys turned out. So this is TTRX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.